Comedy, Tuesday, 39th of October, 2019, White Horse. Dating. Don't answer your cell phone, or only in a cafe. Congratulations, you got this far, but do text and in front of her. Not in the loo, and lots too. She will be impressed by how fast your fingers go, and always answer phone from anyone, including your ex-partner, and do have an argument. It makes you look good that you're still talking. You might think he'll be impressed with the number of times your phone goes off in one night, and you're right here. Have the old-fashioned loud car horn ring. Turn it up. The guys love this, especially if you haven't got a car. While new date at coffee counter paying, eye up the cafe staff and do leave them your number while you're there. Also, when you have a few seconds, phone up the other person you were talking to about hooking up and ask them out in earshot so you hope to be free in about half an hour. Talk too much about your ex. Start crying. Women like it when you're in touch with your feelings. I promise. Don't make any promises. Talk about your car. It makes you sound sensitive. Men and women, it's really hard. It's a really good idea to get ever so drunk. You know that point you don't realise you have had too much alcoholic beverage and you are dropping your glass, falling and shouting really loudly. This really impresses everyone. The most sexy time is the vomit. Do it more often. Third date, do bring your support group for Knives Anonymous. That reminds me, I must phone Steve. That is true. Obsessive compulsive disorder, second Monday, man's away. Briefly, how many classes do I miss? Because it's the third Thursday of the equinox, three times a year, and every other Saturday, every Tuesday, but not this Tuesday. I just get really confused. Sorry, wrong night. Ghosts, texts, ignore them. We all love them, don't we? And you all know what shits you are if you do this. Sometimes, though, this works. We love you more. Motto mantra, praying mantra. Black widow spider, cobra, I'm fat like a hippopotamus and still get asked out every other day. This is true. But I like to be really horrible. Say no, don't answer texts. And this does seem to work. I lie a lot. Keep them mean, treat them keen. Replying immediately is for neurotics. Ghosting, this is when they do die in a horrible car accident and they just see your message and smile before they bleed to death. Actually, this is when you or someone else is trying to get them to like you more. It makes them miss you. It also makes them cry and it does make them have a really nice day. Waiting for you to be so busy and so cool in yourself that you're not upset. This doesn't work. It is horrible. But remember, often there really is a genuine reason they do have a problem with their phone. Their phone is on silent. Your text is too demanding. Stop asking them out and try an easy conversation. Mention your skydiving holiday. Your aunt is coming for tea. Please be patient. It may not mean that they don't like you, I promise. Tubbing. This is inviting your guy to a sauna for a treat. Suck his smelly toes. Invite his friends to your auntie's funeral and buy him a bunch of flowers. Why not? Do get maudlin. It's good f not to hide any part of yourself because it's very important to be yourself. Bondage conversation on first date. This can be tricky. Just ram it in somewhere. Fast. Fisting. Ramming. Rimming. Artificial insemination. Adoption. Pets. Resuscitation policy. Live in pet custody. Pet prenuptial. Keep it light. Why? Sure, we can talk about serious issues if they're meaningful to you, but don't drone on and on about depressing topics. Take your cue from her body language. Is she tuning out? Change the topic. Don't let her get a word in. Don't plan too long of a date. Talking of which, he should be here soon. I think I googled this, so this must be true. First date ideas. Church, yoga, twister, bingo, paragliding, windsurfing, fishing, bullfighting, rodeo circus, climb trees, swim in lakes, swim in lake in winter, art, paint and nude. I think I made this up. Smoke drugs, meet your best friends, invite her for a posh dinner, take wrong credit card, hire a car, book a hotel, steal all the soaps, towels, flannels and sheets. Yes, I did make this up. It was absolute. It was fun. Keep the first date short and simple. Don't invite her up for a day of apple picking, poo for coffee, ice cream or a simple dinner. You don't want to be stuck all day with someone. Yes, good advice. Don't get too high expectations, rabbits, flying, rabbits, referendum, rabbit, robodendron. I'm not funny on dates, I'm serious. I need to heal my wounds and not expect anyone to fix me. Do romanticise about me and develop imaginary feelings. It's just we want someone to love so it opens up our heart to emotional zones and that is vulnerable and unfair on this poor person that has seen through your cake of mystery cake of unavailability. 
Remember, if you haven't heard back in a long time, be too heavy on Facebook, Twitter, work phone. Be really too demanding, irrational. Cry lots. Better resolve those issues now. Don't give up, though. There is still hope. And remember, actually, when you do get to know him, when he finally lets you into his guarded shell, you probably won't like him anyway. So when he doesn't reply in months, remember he is doing you a favour. Make sure you are enjoying your life and posting your life is great and don't lie. Put on a bit too much weight because it shows you're free and also stuffing down your feelings can give you a temporary feeling of happiness and then when you won't feel lonely, angry, miserable and depressed that a relationship will answer all these calls, even if he doesn't call Samaritans. They have to be there and they are trained to not give advice so it's not helpful but they are 24-7 and like random sex it gives you happiness which cannot be prolonged without your own inner base of self-worth, self-reliance self-resilience and self-satisfaction if only emails and texts could have undo if only i had my own flat if only there was one only if only i could cure you only text your new partner when you would upset and drunk there are so much more meaningful and you know it shows your honesty we all appreciate truth serums just don't expect to reply though okay just relish your passion you are lovable, just not right now. Talk to me. No, please don't. I am introverted extrovert. Comedy is my coping mechanism, is it? No, it's yours. Only really happy people are comedians. I'm only really happy and not happy on my own. I love seeing people laugh. That cheers me up. He's here again. No. <laughs> He's late. He's late again. Jules, it's your first date. I thought I would show off on my open mic night. I invited him. His, I invited his football mates because if I win him over, they will be mine for life. Always get a lift home and borrow the forklift truck any time. I roll myself on Joan Ferguson from Cell Block H. No, not her. Joe Brand, only because it's winter and there really is no one I want to impress. I don't care if you like me. I would rather be with me. Look at the bar. Oh, shite. There he is, poor thing. He's got my favourite drink. I don't know how he did it. That pint of Guinness with cocaine on top. Don't start... Making plans to move in together. I don't think I could live with him. Why not? Okay, so what? at what point do I start to get my hopes up then? Is that the ultimate aim? I try and open up jewels and relationship advice online. What would I advise someone else? How is she feeling? This may be confusing for her, considering the most wonderful, loving, exceptional experience in her life. Acceptance of warmth, trust, abandon and trust, and erotic and healing and generous erotica and sensuality and softness and giving. OCD, don't give in to me. Fun, laughter, value yourself and being valued. Being given to and being adored, being happy with yourself and happy with me. Quick poem, not. The Armadillo by Elizabeth Bishop for Robert Lowell. This is the time of year when almost every night the frail, illegal big fire balloons appear, climbing the mountain height, rising toward a saint still honoured in these parts. The paper chambers flush and fill with light that comes and goes like hearts. Once upon, once up against the sky, it's hard to tell them from the stars, planets, that is, the tinted ones, Venus going down, or Mars, or the pale green one. With wind, they flare and falter, wobble and toss, but if it's still, they steer between the kite sticks of the Southern Cross, receding divine, divine, dwindling solemnly and steadily forsaking us or in the downdraft from a peak suddenly turning dangerous last night another big one fell it splattered like an egg of fire against the cliff behind the house the flame ran down we saw the pair of owls who nest there flying up and up their twirling black and white stained bright pink underneath until they shrieked up out of sight the ancient owl's nest must have burned Hastily, all alone, a glistening armadillo left the scene, rose-flecked, head down, tail down, and then a baby rabbit jumped out, short-eared to our surprise, so soft a handful of intangible ash with fixed ignited eyes, too pretty, dreamlike mimi cry, oh falling fire and piercing cry and panic and a weak mailed fist against clutched, ignorant against the sky. Don't play games. Well, only tennis. Don't tell them how you feel. Don't let your vulnerability show. I would never be a, be that rude and that honest, so role-play, Jules. How Jules would handle this? Would Jules handle this? And I would not want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I'm trying and thinking about changing this facet of my personality. Anyway, my advice. Ten years of date, so are we going out? Yes, I think so. See you next week. Don't turn up. I think this is not a good sign. Give up. I'll call you. No, you won't. I say that too. The phone is off. So what? 
go out and live. It's more attractive. Don't call again. My excuse is I'm asleep. I've got a headache. I'm too busy. I'm tired. I'm not well. If they are still asking, I will meet. This has never happened. I need the loo. This works. Get them off the phone quick. I'm not well. Something's in the oven. This works. Something's burning. Why aren't they giving? Why aren't they inviting me for supper? I'm asleep. Why aren't I hugging you? Uh, okay. If the date's not going well and you want a way out, simply say, it was nice meeting her and excuse yourself. Don't have your friends call you and pretend there's been an accident and you need to come quickly. Be honest. Don't say you want a second date if you don't intend to follow through. Cough. Bullshit. Don't be rude. Show up on time. Be nice to Zed and to any waiting staff or people you encounter. Let Zed see your best side. Even if you never intend to see Zed again, remember to ask Zed. May have a friend you're interested in. Charming. My honest advice, relationship advice, please do not take any notice, do not be needy, do not cry unnecessarily, relax, be nice, let go, take your time, be gentle with yourself, do not be needy, love and respect yourself, be honest, after getting to know the other person, you may feel differently in two years, be careful of society expectations and your own unrealistic plans, be happy on your own, it's the best time of your life, do not give up though, they probably like you, show them your best self and only bring them joy and if you're not happy, you're probably not ready for a relationship. Don't worry, life is too short. Take a bus to the seaside, hide in a book, and remember your angel is always with you, and join some support groups and art clubs. Remember your ambitions before you get cluttered with the expectations of a partner. Do not feel sorry for yourself. There are people starving. You can help the world as you are. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Watch your number. Splitting up is agony, but time really does heal. I promise you will be okay. You will feel different, and you will fall in love again, even if it's with your life. I seek to blot myself out of my mind with literary insanity with literary woolly worms and vocabulary that did sound nice but do my echoes find solace in a woman wants me what i want to be wanted to be given to be held to be craved to be patient to be to let go to the face and betray the light i see not the time that smiles upon my ugly face I surrendered. Maybe I should get out and talk to someone new. Oh, I am. Oh, this doesn't count. It's only you.